Sydney Wildlife were created in 1997. We are mainly a rescue organisation located in Lancaster National Park where we rescue injured native animals that are found in the Sydney metropolitan area. We have lots of members all over Sydney and they will go and rescue the, or rescue the animals when the members of the public find them in their backyards, in the streets or wherever they do find them. When they are called into the office then we will go out and rescue the animal. It involves looking after them while they're in your care. It takes up a lot of your time. I'm a volunteer for Sydney Wildlife. I also am um, what they call macropod coordinator and raptor coordinator and wombat coordinator, come to think of it. So when an animal comes in that I'm the coordinator for, people report it to me and uh, I just keep a record of what's coming in and then we know as coordinators what to do and where they need to go and that's. Within Sydney Wildlife, I'm a wildlife carer. So that means that I take in wildlife from many different rescue situations and I care for them in my own home usually. We all do it from home. We all have facilities in our homes to care for the animals. We also have an education program that runs where we have a group of people that go into the schools, the preschools, nursing homes, or retirement villages, scouts, and actually talk about what we do and encourage children to be aware of the native animals and how to protect them, care for them, and what to do if they find they're injured. We are a 24-hour service where when the general public ring our number, they will actually get a person to speak to, not an answering machine. If you can break it down, we get over 13,000 a year, a couple of hundred a week, I'd say. I also help out at, um, we have a rehabilitation facility and up there we have quite a few. That always changes, so yeah, it can take, uh, can take quite a few hours up there to look after them all. It was part of the Skippy film set. Uh, home of Skippy, they used to call it, and it was originally an animal park. It's now owned by the Aboriginal Land Council, who allow us to um, stay here and um, support us in that way. This facility was actually the brainchild of Joan, and she identified that we needed a lot of um, paddock space for the uh, wallabies and kangaroos to build up their strength so we got a great big team of people together and um, set up the macropod section initially and then after that we moved we started repairing some of the cages and enclosures so we've got them all all set up and running now This is a swamp wallaby and these are eastern grey kangaroos. So they're all macropods, uh, macro being big, pod being foot. Um, they're all joeys, they've all been orphaned. So they'll all be taken home to um, where they came from for release. In this facility we take in animals that are nearly ready for release and they need to build up their muscles and get used to being wild and um, we rehabilitate them up here, you know, making sure that they're, they're fit and healthy and then taking them out for release. So we've got facilities for everything from um, water dragons and reptiles through to birds and possums and micro, micro animals like gliders and you know, micro bats and things like that, because they all need different setups to be able to be cared for properly. So we, we bring them up here and do the final stage up here. 
I guess overall, in being a wildlife carer, I've grown a, a much bigger respect for the environment and for animals as a whole species. I think you learn a lot of patience from your animals. You learn that you can't always save every animal, which is a very hard lesson to learn. In a perfect world, we wouldn't be needed, but they do get hit by cars, the parents, they do get attacked by dogs and cats, they do fall out of nests, the birds. So you put all this time and effort into it and it doesn't always work out. So we are a 100% volunteer organisation, so any money donated to us goes directly to support the animals, supply of food, medication and maintenance of our enclosures. They can go to www.sydneywildlife.org.au and um, all the information's there about how they can become a member or donate. Um, so yeah, they can find out all the information they need on Sydney Wildlife on that website, which is really good.